Ακούτε ή διαβάζετε για το ψηφιακό χρήμα, αλλά ίσω δεν έχετε κατανοήσει επακριβώ την επιρροή του στη ζωή μα. Τι είναι το ψηφιακό χρήμα θα το δείτε στο αμέσω επόμενο βίντεο. Εγώ θα σα πω μόνο ότι αν νομίζατε ότι τα lockdown και οι εμβολιασμοί ήταν κόλαση, το ψηφιακό χρήμα είναι η αποκάλυψη. The UK government will soon be introducing fundamental changes in how money works. The changes are being planned by central banks around the world, including the UK's central bank, the Bank of England. These changes, once introduced, will affect everyone. So, what are these changes really about? The changes being proposed will mean that you will no longer have full control over your spending. In fact, what they are planning is the replacement of money with something which is fundamentally different. Therefore, it's not just cash they want to remove from the economy, it is money itself. Pay attention, because if the new monetary system is allowed to happen, it will be very difficult to reverse and could mark the beginning of the end of human freedom. In order to explain the changes that are being planned right now for your tomorrow, let's explain a little bit about how your money works today. Let's imagine that John decides to buy his daughter a birthday present from Argos. He chooses the product he wants, then pays £50 using his debit card. You might think that £50 is immediately transferred from John's bank account to Argos's bank account. But this is not what happens. A record is created showing that John's bank owes Argos's bank £50. And John's account will even show that the money has left his account. But the actual transfer of funds does not occur at the time of purchase. John's £50 purchase is one of about 50 million UK transactions that occur every day. And although in each case the account may show that the money has been transferred, the actual movement of funds between the banks only occurs once every day. Every 24 hours, all the payments made to and from each of the UK's 300 plus registered banks are added up to determine how much each bank owes the others. The Bank of England which is the central bank that all other banks in the system are connected with, derives the total amount that each bank owes and is owed for that day. The Bank of England then intermediates and exchanges funds between all the other banks. So the Bank of England does not know anything about John or the £50 he spent on his daughter. John's money is just a tiny part of a huge transfer of funds. This means that the only organization that can see what John does with his money is his own bank. The central bank cannot see what John spends his money on or when he spends it. And John's bank is under an obligation not to share details of his spending with anyone. This means that, rightly, there is a good degree of anonymity and privacy over what John decides to spend his money on. This, in turn, means that a government or central authority, such as the Bank of England, cannot directly restrict John when he uses his debit card, because it has no visibility of what John is doing with his money. If John had paid for the present with £50 of cash, then the purchase would be completely anonymous. Nobody, including John's bank, would know what he had spent his money on. So, cash transactions are truly anonymous, and debit card transactions have a high degree of anonymity, because only your bank can know about them. So, what is this new system? The name of the new system is called Central Bank Digital Currency, or CBDC. It sometimes has other names, such as Smart Money. Here's how it works. Let's imagine that John, again, decides to buy his daughter a birthday present from Argos. His mobile phone has a smart money wallet or app on it, from which he pays £50 for the product. The app communicates directly with the central bank, the Bank of England, and the money is transferred from his digital wallet to Argos's digital wallet in less than a second. The transfer of funds occurs at the time of purchase and the transaction is recorded and approved by a centralized computer system on a centralized blockchain. 
A blockchain is a special computer program that records information very reliably and cannot be amended. The centralized computer system runs continuously and can deal with hundreds of transactions per second as they occur throughout the entire economy, processing all of the public's purchases being made by millions of digital wallets. This sounds fantastic and is so much quicker and simpler than the old system. But there is a fundamental difference, which is that all transactions are centralized in real time as they happen. In other words, one system will be able to know about every single digital transaction in the economy as the transactions occur. This is the critical difference with the new digital monetary system that everyone needs to be aware of. All transactions are centralized in real time as they happen. The people who are planning this new system have made it clear that it would be useful in their eyes to use artificial intelligence algorithms in real time to block certain public transactions for a range of different reasons. So what does this mean for John? Let's just say there is another lockdown and the government want to stop the public moving about the country. With this new system, they could introduce a simple change. That would mean John's wallet would only work if he was located within a certain distance of his own home. Argos is two miles from John's house and he decides to go and buy his daughter a birthday present. He attempts to pay £50 for the product with the app. The app communicates directly with the Bank of England's computer system and the system rejects John's payment before it is made because the system knows that John is two miles from his own home and John's wallet has been limited to spending within just one mile. John cannot now buy anything unless he moves closer to his own home. His money is now useless if he wants to go anywhere. Why doesn't John just use cash? That would be a good solution for John as long as cash is still in use. So how might this new system be introduced? The Prime Minister called an emergency meeting today to discuss the unprecedented slide into economic recession in the UK and global economies. Inflation is out of control and high interest rates are causing thousands of house repossessions. All cash points and over-the-counter cash services are now frozen and millions of people face losing their life savings as a number of high street banks are declared insolvent. The government and the Bank of England are accelerating the introduction of a new central bank digital currency, which all bank customers in the UK will be able to receive in exchange for their existing money, which in many cases is now unobtainable from their bank accounts. The government say that the new digital money will help the economy recover from recession and will be used to bail out public and corporate money currently held in millions of bank accounts by banks that are at the point of collapse. It says cash unobtainable from this account. It's frozen our money. But you didn't have John. Should we go in the house? We've only got £120 and when that's gone, nothing. I don't believe it. The bank's frozen our money. We've got £25,000 in that account and no way of getting it back. Download your central bank CBDC wallet app today and get bonus digital pounds free. If you exchange your existing bank funds into your digital currency wallet now, you will receive free digital pounds for each account you exchange. You can then spend from your digital wallet by using your phone app, exactly like a debit card. Download the free app now from the UK government website or the App Store. John, we need to download the digital wallet thing. See if we can transfer it in. We've got no other option, love. Well, it's transferred and it's given us some bonus money. I can't believe it. How do you know it's worked? It's worked, love. Everyone's using this money now. Right, I'm off down Tesco to try it out. Sorted. 
Recent figures show that the public's use of cash has halved in the last 12 months. Experts say this is due to the success and sheer convenience of the new CBDC digital money. Αν τώρα νομίζετε ότι η ιστορία του φίλου μας του Τζον τελειώνει εδώ, δείτε και το επόμενο βιντεάκι για να συνειδητοποιήσετε ότι οι νεοταξίτες ψυχάκητες δεν θα εσυχάσουν αν δεν μας τσιπάρουν. Για το καλό μας εννοείται. The idea had been by central banks to introduce this, as we said, central bank digital currency. But have you ever seen an article or a video or, you know, whatever description of what it actually looks like? I mean, with central bank paper money, we know what it looks like, right? Yeah. yeah. Bank digital currency, we know, and you know, we've used it ourselves. We know what it looks like. But what does central bank digital currency look like? You see, so they never talk about that because people won't actually like the looks of it. Yeah, because it apparently looks, and and several central banks apparently, as I as I heard from my sources, have already fully developed the final stage of CBDC. I mean, it comes in stages initially, likely through your mo- mobile phone, yeah. but it's only an intermediate step. Mm. And the final stage is, you know, it's it's small, and it's the size of a, a grain of rice. Now, why is that? And it, it that grain of rice is your entire wallet, or yes, it's your digital ID. Yeah. Your wallet uh, can be your your um, your passport, your key. Um, now, of course, what we found with our debit cards or credit cards is. They've already now moved to the system, you know, RFID chips, um, RFID yeah. um, technology, where you just wave the thing, yeah. contactless. Yes, that is sort of the, the you know conditioning us in this direction. That yeah. in the future you'll just wave your hand because you've got the microchip, the, the microchip implant yeah. under your skin, yeah. um, and because you know. Th- And each each step, there's a rational reason, you know. It's it's easier just to wave this, isn't it? It's much faster because we always have to wait in the queues as everyone types in their numbers and all that. So just wave it; it's quicker. Uh, but the the next rationalization will be well, but you can lose your card. Somebody can steal your card, mm. and then you're just waving. Yeah. That's kind of risky. Well, yeah. wouldn't it be nice if you couldn't lose it and nobody could steal it? Um, you know. So, but it's clear that that's sort of it is almost a step too far for a lot of people because it is a violation of human dignity to actually inject something like that under the skin so mm-hmm. um that's where you need some more persuasion yeah and it's interesting that this concept of universal basic income has been around for around a century where everyone should get some kind of citizens you know payment uh, but the the billionaire elites have so far not liked that. But since 2015, they've all come out. I mean, all the big billionaires and and World Economic Forum have come out, oh, this is a good idea, universal basic income. Well, why suddenly now? Because now we have the technology for the microchip implant. Um, so when, in 2017, Bill Gates came out and said that universal basic income is a good idea Um But it's too early to introduce it. Now, what was still missing? So we had the technology for the microchip implant, but what was missing was the digital ID hadn't been introduced. Now, this is where this whole COVID agenda had become very useful. Και τώρα που πήρατε μια ιδέα τι ακριβώς είναι το ψηφιακό χρήμα, έλατε να δούμε τι εφαρμογή θα έχει στην Ελλάδα. Σύντομα, πολύ σύντομα, πιο σύντομα από ό,τι φαντάζεστε. Το προανήκει ο Υφυπουργός, χάρης και ο χάρης. Σκοπός μας είναι η όσο το δυνατόν λιγότερη κυκλοφορία μετρητών. Σύμφωνα με πληροφορίε, η κυβέρνηση από το 2023 σχεδιάζει να αλλάξει τον τρόπο με τον οποίο καταβάλλονται τα επιδόματα ΟΠΕΚΑ και τη ΔΥΠΑ, πρωινό ΑΕΔ, τα οποία αντί για τον λογαριασμό του κάθε δικαιούχου, όπω συμβαίνει σχεδόν σε όλα τα κράτη του κόσμου, θα καταβάλλονται πλέον σε προπληρωμένε κάρτε ή ακόμα και δωροκάρτε, με του δικαιούχου κάποιων επιδομάτων να πληρώνονται σε είδο. Επίση, η κυβέρνηση θα ελέγχει πού ξοδεύουν τα λεφτά του οι δικαιούχοι, με κάποιε δραστηριότητε διασκέδαση να είναι απαγορευμένε ενώ θα υπάρχει και όριο ανάληψης μετρητών. Το νέο αυτό σχέδιο γίνεται στο πλαίσιο αξιοποίησης από την κυβέρνηση των πόρων από το Ταμείο Ανάκαμψης. Άρα για πόσα θα λάβουν τα καταστήματα και οι τράπεζες για τις υπηρεσίες που θα παρέχουν με τις δωροκάρτες και τις προπληρωμένες κάρτες. Οι αλλαγές που θα γίνουν έχουν ως εξής. 
θα καθιερωθούν προπληρωμένε κάρτε και για τα άλλα σημαντικά προνοιακά επιδόματα των ΟΠΕΚΑ, όπω το επίδομα τέκνου και το επίδομα για τη γέννηση. Θα πληρώνονται με κάρτε τα βασικά επιδόματα ανεργία τη ΔΥΠΑ, πρώην ΟΑΕΔ. Θα καθιερωθούν όρια ανάληψη μετρητών για τι προπληρωμένε κάρτε και το πόσο που θα μείνει πέραν του ορίου θα μπορεί να δαπανάτε μόνο με ηλεκτρονικέ πληρωμέ. Θα δοθούν κίνητρα για τη χρήση των προπληρωμένων καρτών για συγκεκριμένα αγαθά και υπηρεσίε και θα απαγορευτούν άλλε δαπάνε όπω για τζόγο. Μάλιστα, σε εμπεγμό των νέων γονεών προχωρά η κυβέρνηση, καθώ σύμφωνα με πληροφορίε, το επίδομα γέννηση των 2.000 ευρώ που άρχισε να δίδεται από τον Ιανουάριο του 2020 αναμένεται από το τέλο του έτου να δίνεται σε δωροκάρτα και όχι με κατάθεση χρημάτων στο λογαριασμό. Με πρόσχημα την καταπολέμηση της φοροδιαφυγής, η κυβέρνηση ετοιμάζεται να ξεκινήσει την κατάργηση των μετρητών, που σημαίνει πως οποιαδήποτε αγοραστική ενέργεια των πολιτών θα ελέγχεται και θα εξετάζεται λεπτομερώς, με ό,τι και αν σημαίνει αυτό για την ελευθερία τους και την ιδιωτική τους ζωή. Ο εκπρόσωπος του Υπουργείου Εθνικής Οικονομίας και Οικονομικών, ο Μύρος Τσάπαλος, Τόνισε ότι υπάρχουν σκέψει τη κυβέρνηση να καταργήσει τι συναλλαγέ με μετρητά σε επαγγέλματα όπω οι δικηγόροι, οι γιατροί και ούτω καθεξή. Σημειώνεται ότι την ίδια περίπου δήλωση έκανε και ο Υφυπουργό Οικονομία και Οικονομικών, Χάρη Θεοχάρη. Όπω τόνισε, πρέπει να χρησιμοποιούνται όσο το δυνατόν λιγότερα μετρητά. Να έχουμε δύο δυνατότητε. Η πρώτη είναι να ξέρουμε όλοι μα ότι από τη στιγμή που πληρώσουμε με κάρτα δεν υπάρχει περίπτωση να μην κόπηκε απόδειξη. Είτε μας θα είναι δηλώσουν. κλειδωμένα τα πληκτρολόγια στα ποιό. Ακριβώ, θα είναι κλειδωμένα. Είτε μα τη, μας την έδωσαν την απόδειξη, είτε όχι. Εφόσον πληρώθηκε με κάρτα, ναι. θα είναι αυτό. Ναι. Ακριβώ. Εξετάζουμε να δούμε αν α, αντίστοιχη επέκταση πρέπει να δούμε και σε, σε άλλε λογικέ. Το ΙΡΙ είναι ένα σύστημα που υπάρχει διατραπεζικό για να πληρώνεται από λογαριασμό σε λογαριασμό. Ε, μα δεν μα ενδιαφέρει, ξαναλέω. Ο τρόπο πληρωμή αρκεί να, να μην είναι μετρητά. Αρκεί να είναι δηλαδή έτσι. από το ψηφιακό μου πορτοφόλι απευθεία. Ναι. Να μην είναι κατάστημα. μετρητά. Αυτό είναι το βασικό. Να μην mm. είναι μετρητά. Φυσικά θα πρόκειται για μια αρχή και εν συνεχεία θα ακολουθήσουν και άλλε κατηγορίε μέχρι να συμπεριληφθούν τα πάντα. Όπω δήλωσε ο Μύρος Τσάπαλο, η κυβέρνηση θα εξετάσει αν αυτό είναι συνταγματικό και σε αυτήν την κατεύθυνση θα δώσει κίνητρα στου πολίτε προκειμένου να τους κάνει συμμάχους στην απόλυτη ψηφιοποίηση της οικονομίας.